Hi, this is PDF Burger Arcade at BurgerArcade.com, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Marvel Superhero Squad Online. It's a beta. Uh, this game is made with the Unity 3D game engine, or I guess the Unity game engine. Uh, let's go ahead and sign up and let's take a look at it. So let's go ahead, click sign up now. And it's going to ask me for a login name. I'm just going to use Bergzerg Arcade. Uh, we'll click next. It has some really nice graphics to it. It's going to ask me for a password. We'll put that in. Uh, now wants a squad name. So we'll hit generate. In general that so apparently you can't pick from them uh, you just get one randomly I uh, will just take digging all night and then we have our end users license agreement sure Uh, okay, well, there was a little glitch. I'm not sure if the recorder picked it up or not, but it seems to have uh, fixed itself. So we'll go ahead. We'll put my birthday in. And pick sex. Uh, what's my email address now? I'm going to edit this part out. All right, next we have, uh, you've completed the registration and are now able to start playing for free. And if we come down here, we have the option to install it. So it looks like it does have a desktop version, uh, but it also has monthly plans as well. Uh, but it does have a free to play option. So I'm going to be doing the free to play option, but I do want to take a look at this install now and see if there is a desktop version. So it looks like it's made by Gazillion Entertainment. So it looks like it's downloading something. I'm going to assume these are the the asset bundles that come with it. Uh, I guess maybe give a little bit more information on exactly what it's actually downloading here. It'd also be nice to, well, I guess there's really no way to give some sort of time on how long it's going to take. And it did open up in another window. I'm running in 720p right now. That's what I do all of my recordings in. So I'm just going to leave that off to the side. I'll just pause the video here until it's actually done. All right, it's done downloading and now it's verifying. And we're ready to play. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the play now button. And it should be loading up. So here we go. It doesn't seem to be centered. But it is beta. So it's got a nice little soundtrack to it. So it looks like we have the option of picking either Miss Marvel or Cyclops. I'm just going to pick Cyclops for now. So we have our little walkthrough. The movement is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but it does seem to be quite fluid and you do have the little window over here showing you. I really like how they do this because it really makes it quite easy on you know learning how to actually play the game. So it doesn't seem to be an attack button, at least not yet. You just click on it and throw stuff. Now let's use your prize wheel to spin the prize wheel. 
So this is my first impression of the game. I guess my first run through. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to get four spins. So it looks like if you subscribe, you become a Shield Junior agent. Woohoo, I'm rich. And I've just got my email notification. <laughs> so it's asked me to spin again. And we'll just hurry up and use up all my spins. So you can win more tickets in any of the zones or buy them at the stores. Okay. More gold will be there too. You've just earned 20 silver coins, which you can spend in shopping. Click the red X in the upper right corner of the screen to go on. So it shows you where to click, so that's really good. The main reason why I'm looking at this game is my son's like a superhero squad addict, so I'm sure he's gonna really like this. Now let's buy Falcon and add him to your squad. Click on Falcon. Falcon costs 1,000 gold. Click the buy for 1,000 gold. Haha, I own you. <laughs> oh, he only costs 2,000 silver? Poor thing. Now let's change to one of the new heroes in your squad. You now have four heroes in your squad. Now I'm wondering for localization if they actually have a different language uh, person talking to you. Uh, I'm gonna try Miss Marvel. Now let's look at how to start new game activities. You will find activity launchers in the world that look like. Now let's learn how to use the game menus. The left hub is the information hmm. hub. From here, you can. I uh, I like the way the they have their menus. They're cartoony enough to fit the style, but uh, informative enough that they're in line with uh, kind of your traditional online games. Uh, that's kind of a disappointment. I was hoping we'd get the that hero up um, they do in the the actual TV show. My son likes that one. Uh, so would you like to play full screen? Sure. So uh, it's asking me to select a character. Uh, let's select a thing. My son likes the thing. Not as much as the Hulk. Okay, it looks like we have a few other people here. Uh, let me see. We have the option to be my friend and join my mission. Report this player. Buy this hero. <laughs> okay, so they do have other ones here that you can buy. You have Black Widow, which costs a thousand silver. Ooh, Black Costume Spider Man, or oh, Black Suit. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Let me see the laboratory, more room for fun. So there's quite a few things that it looks like you can buy already in game. I have not seen any microtransactions yet. Uh, let me see, so I have 30 silver. 150 gold, uh, check out. So become a Junior Shield agent to win gold on the prize wheel. Uh, click here to subscribe. Uh, become a member to Shield purchase. Okay. Well, let's just see what it looks like. So it's going to need to log me back out and back in. That's kind of annoying. Uh, if only there was a way to do it in game. So if we join now, we have gold rewards, and this is where I guess they're making their money. Uh, before I go ahead and subscribe to anything, though, I'm gonna take the free to play and see, you know, what I like about it. So I'm just gonna log back into the game. And let's run around the 
zone and see exactly what we can do in there. Uh, they did put the little Unity logo in there. <laughs> the scrolls. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and play full screen. And I'm just going to take the thing again. And we'll log in. And we have these little mission things. So you can also move with the keyboard, it seems. Now, there does not seem to be a way to rotate the camera. So it looks like the camera is always facing in this direction. Uh, <clears throat> you have the depth of field view, uh, which is kind of neat. I've never really been a big fan of it, but uh, I know a lot of people do like it. Uh, we're well, sorry, but this part of the Superhero Squad Online is currently not available. Okay. Click on the next one. So, let me see here. We get the Jump Clobber. So, let's just go ahead and play solo. And we'll launch the mission and see what happens. Ock to me. So is this a Doc Ock thing? So use the claws to grab the bad guys. And there's things to click on. And when you hover over them, you get that little notice that there are things to click on. <laughs> I actually like it. Get my banana. Okay, you don't actually have to get it. it. Looks like it comes to you. Yeah, it actually isn't that bad of a game. It's much better than I thought it would be. Oh, here up. A little bit busy to be heroing up. Uh, I guess these are the Doom bots. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, they've actually seemed to have done a fairly decent game with this. Now, I'm assuming when you jump on these, it either teleports you or moves you to another zone or another part in the mission. Uh, right now, I'm not going to. I just want to destroy. When can I get Hulk? So, I've got a three times combo, two times combo. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Uh, clicking on it does nothing. Let's see here. I actually want to pick this up. And I'm just going to continue on. Whoa. Let's see if we can get that claw. I guess not. Well, let's just keep going through. And here comes some bad guys, which is... Oh. Wow, they just keep coming. So I'm hitting the little hero up button, which does a, I guess, some sort of little combo here. Ooh, gotta get that sandwich. There we go. So I'm getting points. Um, I'm not seeing an area where... Let me see if I can click on my guy. I assume this is a completion meter. Uh, how does your guy level up? Alright, so... Oh, get my name. 
um, security level 11 mission rating uh, not seeing area to no I do not want to log out of the game uh, we'll just keep playing um, let me see looks like we can go back here and the walls do fade as you go through. I'm going to see if I can pick something up and hurl it at them. Sure enough, we do have something. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they have kind of uh, your heroes designated as a sort of class. That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. This guy wasn't quite finished. Uh, all in all, I actually do like the game. Um, it's got enough visual candy that it's enjoyable. It's not a very hard game to play. see if I can find a Hulk somewhere so I can get the you know, Hulk smash <laughs> uh, I guess if since I have the thing it would be really nice if you'd uh, be like ah it's clobbering time uh, but they do not seem to have that in there I don't know if it's a licensing thing or uh, they just haven't got it but it is beta I'm going to use my hero up here. And we'll just keep smashing away. Not 100% sure where my health bar is. So we've got it up to a silver medal in the top right. I'll just use my hero up here. Oh, another big bad, bad guy here. So we'll just go ahead and... Okay, now probably would have been a good time to use my hero up, but... So if you don't get your rewards, it looks like they disappear over time. So stage complete. Uh, I guess I should have taken those little elevator footstep things up to get my gold. Uh, but I have seemed to complete it. So match the colors. Uh, it looks like I'm not quite done. Now, of course, this, I am playing the thing, so I'm not 100% sure what uh, the other characters do. Uh, and I cannot go back. Okay. So I do have my gold up in the top right. We got a damage boost. I should be close to my hero up. Okay, we'll just go get some food here. My hero sandwich. I'm not 100% sure what this is. Okay, well, I'm just going to go pick up this garbage bale here. It's time to take out the trash. Uh, we got a health boost. Uh, it's down here. And we'll toss. This seems like a really good time to use my hero up.
So it looks like the health boost was temporary. As you notice, it's gone from my little character. I'm going to save that hero up for when I get a few nasties on the screen. There's no point in just using it right now. So I get a speed boost. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick something up here. And I'm going to step on this thing. Ah, okay, when you step on it, it looks like things come down. That's probably what it was talking about at the beginning. Okay. See if I can't herd these guys up a bit. And we'll just use that. So it's got just enough special moves to make you feel, well, kind of special. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing the blue one. Yeah, so that does exactly what I thought it was. You step on the little blue feet thing here, and the claw will come down here. And, of course, the yellow does the yellow one. So how does this compare to other games? Well, gameplay-wise... Uh, I actually enjoy it. Uh, is this something I'm going to subscribe to and play? Maybe not for myself, but I can definitely see... Uh, let my son play. The main complaint I have right now is they don't have the character's signature catchphrases. I think that would probably add a lot to the game, at least for me. Aha. I'm just going to use my hero up here. And make sure I get my star. And stage complete. So the mission is fairly long. Well, at least longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was originally just going to be that first little level we did there. So it's got cinematics. <laughs> Doc Ock. Oof. Okay, so me versus Doc Ock. Wow. I haven't been able to hit him yet. <laughs> okay, well, I got my hero up at least now. Okay, well, it looks like I've been defeated. Okay. He's definitely proven to be a problem, so I'm going to try to maybe get a few more of these. Okay, he shoots. Try to lure him onto this. Uh, that didn't work. So Doc Ock's health bar is down at the bottom. And it's it's actually quite big. Oh my god, I hit him. I'm just going to keep hammering away. Okay, I'm going to go try to use that thing in the center again. The claws. Come on, keep following. Oh, I did get him. I do have another hero up, which will be used on Doc Ock, obviously. And away I go. <laughs> okay, I guess I shouldn't have used my star so soon. There we go. Okay, we got lots of food lying around. I'm going to run around and grab all this food. If I can. Clobbering time. He's almost down. There we go. 
So I'm wondering what's after gold. I probably won't know. So we've earned a bronze medal. Special bonus. 3,000. Yeah, they definitely have to get the signature... Uh, Uh, with a yell. <laughs> so there's quite a few bonuses at the end. It wasn't too long, so I end up with seven tickets for doing it and 40 silver and 400 experience. I'm not 100% sure what we do with the experience yet. I'm getting, you know, some sort of little special effect here. I uh, will just close this down. And let's go spin the wheel. So I've got seven tickets. Let's go ahead and spin and see what we get. Maybe we can pick up another hero. So if you're an actual shield agent, uh, basically if you're paying to play, you, these are gold instead of silver, but that's fine. Uh, I mentioned that in the beginning, or it might have been somewhere I read on the on their website. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use up my seven tickets here. Now they do have some special prizes here, but I haven't got one yet, so we don't know exactly what they do. Uh, maybe if we hover, nope. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I think that I can't tell if this is popcorn in a bomb or if it's french fries in a bomb. It's the calorie buster. So I'm just going to go ahead and just use up all my spins here just to use up all my tickets. I was kind of hoping to get one of these special items, but uh, apparently I'm not going to. And we'll just do one more. All right, so we're done with those. Uh, I did pick up some silver. And gold and silver do not seem to be mixed. Let's see what this does. Uh, do you want to go to your HQ? Mm, not yet. Uh, if you notice, someone ran around in the background there. I'm just going to explore a little bit. Just to see roughly how big the world is. And you can interact with stuff in game. And I got a star. I'm not exactly sure what the star is for. Uh, let me just take a look here. So it looks like I can switch anytime I want. Uh, let's see. So we have chat. Uh, we have emoticons. <laughs> Concrete angel. Okay. So unlock at max level. I'm not sure what max level is, but if this is five, I'm going to assume it's like ten. They do seem to have quite a few of them. <laughs> and of course a chat system okay it goes by your 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 group name and we have our little navigation one over here play a card game actually I want to go see what happens okay so you can attack stuff so there are some things around in the zone that you can do. And I did get another ticket, but I'm not going to spend that. And 40 experience. What I really wanted to see was I'm level 1. Uh, I'd like to see how I do not want to become a member. How do I level up? So let's go back into here. Alright, there we go. I need another 40 experience to level up. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, does it tell me how much experience I got for killing that thing? Maybe there's more around? Gumball machine? Uh, I got 10 stars. Not 100% sure what it did. Uh, let's try the star thing over here. Uh, okay, this is uh, for your friend invites. Uh, I guess there's not much really to do EXP wise. Uh, we got a robber here. Ooh, look at that. I uh, wonder if I just scooped it on her. Uh, she disappeared. So I'm. Oh, there she is. Uh, hopefully, I didn't scoop it on her, but. Let me just take another quick look here. I need 20 more experience. I need to find one more UFO thing to kill. And well, hey, look, what do we have here? There we go. Uh, you receive a new item, uh, things bad. The hero's health is increased. Sweet. Right, let's take a look here. Next, we have to get to 750. So it looks like you can have up to, what's this, 12 different squatties? Poor Falcon. I wonder how many people actually play him. Uh, but that's pretty much it for my review. There seems to be quite a few things to do here. Uh, considering it's just beta. Uh, it runs smoothly. I haven't encountered any bugs yet. Okay, I thought I was going to throw... Oh, we got some more stars here. But anyway, I haven't encountered any bugs. Uh, well, I would like to have seen the signature uh, catchphrases that they use. Uh, maybe that's something they can add a little bit later on. Well, it looks like this guy just heroed up. Uh, let's actually try to buy something. Uh, I can't remember how we bought someone. So we got Be My Friend. This feature is not available. You already own this hero. Um, so it's a compass. Uh, let's actually see if we can actually go into some of these shops. There's, here's one over here. And apparently we can. Uh, accidentally clicked on the can though. So we'll head in. Ah, here we go. So for 1600 gold, we can get a Spider-Man. And then, of course, we have Thor for a thousand. See, I thought Thor would be more expensive than Spider Man. Oh, Hulk. I've got to save up for a Hulk for my son. <laughs> Actually, he really likes a Silver Surfer, too. And of course, you have Wolverine, Storm. Ah, wow, last time I was in here, I thought there was a lot more guys for silver. Damn, 25,000. Uh, we got the She Hulk for 600. I'll just quickly go through these so you can see them all. Invisible Woman. Uh, Human Torch. Ha! Wasp. And Ant-Man. Alright. I don't have enough to buy any of them. Uh, cards. Coming soon. Oh, that's right. We had the chance to play a card game. Uh, but anyway. Uh, oh, there are missions that we can buy. Uh, let's see, there's a fair amount of missions, it seems like. And so far, I haven't had to spend a dime playing, and there does seem to be quite a few missions. Uh, as far as casual games go, which I think this would probably appeal to the most, uh, the mission did seem a little long for casual gaming. Uh, I generally like to think maybe like a 10-minute play session. Uh, the mission seemed, I'm not really sure how long it lasts, to be honest. It was probably, what, 20, 30 minutes? Uh, I guess I'll find out when I start editing the video. Uh, what do we got here? 
uh, items. I'm not 100% sure what these items do. Uh, let's find out. All right. Um, okay, so I'm not exactly sure if you have some sort of housing or something. Uh, that would be neat. Hmm. Well, what else do we have here? Uh, cards they don't have. Let's check out the goodies. Uh, here's where you can buy your tickets. Uh, food. What's that? Naval mine. Not sure what these are. Plants? Oh, paint, sorry. <laughs> so you must have some sort of housing that you can paint up. Probably your uh, your headquarters. And looks like things you can put in your headquarters. And of course, for agents only, if you're an agent, uh, here you go. If you're an agent, you can actually get things much cheaper, it looks like. And there's actually uh, different people here. I believe this is Black Widow. Let's see here. Yep. And of course you have the laboratory, so there is definitely incentive to buy. Uh, but all in all, I think it's a fairly decent game. I like it, and I'll probably will try it again. I don't know, maybe we can get a group of people together. I think you can actually join missions. Uh, so maybe we'll get a group of people together on Bergzerg Arcade, and we'll set some things up, and uh, we'll try a group mission. Anyway, that's it for my review of Superhero Squad. Oh, actually, I'm going to try to track that guy down, and... Buy them. Thousand silver. I don't have it. And it won't let me because I'm not a, an agent. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's my view of the Marvel Superhero Squad Online. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.